We have the answers already, but we are doing the graph approach, so let's conclude with this. Now here, when x is 0, y will be what? 50. And when y is 0, x will be what? 50. So 8. 150, 150. Here, we don't think. So prepare our table. x, y. When x is 0, y is 150. When y is 0, x is 150. So we plot this on a graph. A linear graph looks like this. Y here, X there. Now, look at the Y axis. What is the highest figure there? 267. So the 267 could be somewhere in here. No, this is Y axis. So 267 could be somewhere in here. It's, it's that, so we can use a scale we want to use. I'm not going to teach you how you can determine scale. You should know how to determine scale. <laughs> On the X axis, what is the highest there? 150. And that could be somewhere here. So let's plot. If we are plotting, we go here. When x is 0, y is what? That is here. When x is 20, y is? That could be somewhere here. x is 20, y is 0. So this is the first equation. You bring it here a little bit. Then we will name that as that equation. 5x plus 1.5y less or equal to 400. Then the second equation, when x is 0, y is 150. Now remember, this was 267. So 150 could be anywhere here. And then when x is 150, remember this is also 20. So we can put the 150 here. Y is 0. So this is it. Uh-uh. Putting the straight line. So this equation is x plus y less or equal to 150. So this one, okay? This one is the answer you had. When you read it on the graph, it will be that answer. 50 orange. Now, these are all corner points. We call them corner points. But all these options cannot give us a maximum profit. So it is this one that will give us a maximum profit. So once we have this answer, we put it to the objective function. What was the objective function? B equals 100x plus 200y. So what do we have here? X is 100, no. X is 50, y is 100. So what will be the maximum profit? 100 by 50 plus 200 by 100. What do we have? 5,000 plus 20,000. So that will be... This is the answer to the question. If we are doing linear program. So under linear programming, this is the shadow that's going to be. And if the examiner brings the question in such a way that you have to draw, you request for a graph book, and you sketch this on the graph, because you will mark it. But when you sketch it on the graph, the meeting point, don't worry. Just punch the thing simultaneously, you get the answer and go and put it there, and you will use it. But you will mark the graph just to see if you can do graphical representation. So that is the idea about linear programming. Any question? I have something there called classroom trial. Classroom trial. So I'm just giving you five minutes. Write out the constraints and the profit function, and let me see, of the classroom trial. Let me see what you do. So write the objective function and also write the constraints and the non negativity, and let's see what you get. Have you seen classroom trial on page four? So what did you say? What, what represents standard? X, right? So the are the yes, uh, X and Y. So we will have two X. We will bring the objective function. What is the objective function? Contribution. 
and contribution should be equal to 6x plus 9y. And this is subject to the constraints, which are 2x plus 4y should be less or equal to 80 kilograms. Did everybody get that? Everybody got that? Then, labor. 5x plus 6y less or equal to how many labor hours are available? 180 hours. Then the demand for the executive y should be equal to 10. That's a constraint. We need to bring it. Then we bring the non-negativity constraint. When you examine a bema kill, this is how I've been said. Don't draw. Don't draw this here. We will lose one mark. So this is it. Now, so how do we solve this? As we did earlier, right? We put it on the graph. Let's run through that quickly and sketch it on the graph and see the answer we get. If we are sketching this on the graph, I won't go methodical. If I should put zero here, 80 divided by 4 will be what? 20. So if x is 0, y will be 20. If I should put 0 here, x will be what? 40. So x is 40, y is 0. That's the first scenario. Second, if I should put 0 here, y will be what? I show 3. 30. Then if I should put 0 here, can 180 divide 5? Yes. Or it will be how much? 36. 36. So that's the second scenario. Then we're going to put this on the graph. So if you check the y axis, what's the highest? 30, 20. We have 0. And the x axis, what's the highest? 40. 40. So we, this is what we're going to say. I can put 10, 20, 30, 40 here. Then I can put on the y axis, we said the highest is 36. I can do also 10, or maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Then I plot first this and that. So 0 and 20. 0 and x as is 20 on the y as is like this. Second, x is 40, y is what? 0. So here. So I sketch it up down like this. And what was the equation for this? 2x plus 4y less or equal to 80 kilograms. Then I come here. x is 0, y is what? 30 here. x is 36, y is 0. Now 36 will be somewhere here. Sounds good. So we bring it down. Down, 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 down. Here. This equation is 5x plus 6y less or equal to 180. But in here, I'll say y equals 10. So, hey, is it y equals 10? Yes. So this is y equals 10. So straight like this. So this is y equals 10. Now, so how do you determine the maximum output level. Now, you could see that this is a point of intersection. This is a point of intersection. This is a point of intersection. All the answers of the point of intersection are called corner points. So we have to solve them one after the other. One. So I'll name this place one, I'll name this place two, and I'll name this place three. Now, if we are choosing the one, what equation is that? y equals 10, and what? This equation was 5x plus 6y equals 180. Sounds good. So if y equals 10, I can put it here. So that 5x plus 6, 10 equals 180. So I get 5x plus 60 equals 180. So I get 5x equals 130, because this minus this. 120, thank you. So x will be equal to 120 over 5. 
24. So that's the first scenario. X is 4, Y is 10. That is the first point. So the 1 here means X, so 24, and then 10. That's the first answer. Second answer. What equation is the second answer? The two main equations, right? Punch that simultaneously for me quickly. 2x plus 4y equals 80. X is 80. 5x, 6y minus 4. X is 80. Uh -huh. Y is 5. Then the last one, third scenario. The third scenario is the y equals. I hope I can clean this right. Mm -hmm. Maybe we move it more. So let me just rub this. I'll leave this way. The third equation is what? This line, which is 2x plus 4y equals 180. No, is it 80 or 180? 80. 80. Then this line, y equals 10. So everywhere I see y, I can put 10 there. So 2x plus 4, 10 equals 80. What do I have? 2x, 40, 80. So 2x will be equal to 40. So x equals 20. So this answer here equals 20 against 10. So I have three answers. So I'm going to put these three answers in the profit equation. The one that gives me the highest answer becomes the optimal production. <laughs> so all this, all this for how many This is a production plan. Oh. This is a production plan for limiting factor analysis. This one, divine revelation. Divine revelation. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the idea about this. So if we have these three points, we put them in our profit statement. It's in your syllabus and it's in your textbook. So we have to do it. And who knows? We call it dawa. Not me any day. Me dey me him away from you. What is the profit function, please? Six. Six x plus. Five x plus six. Sorry. Six x plus nine y. Nine y. Now look at it. So when we put the corner point one there, P one, which is twenty four and ten, the profit will be equal to six times twenty four plus nine, ten. 624. 6 by 24. 144. Plus 90. 234. So that's 234 dollars for that corner point. Corner point 2. What do we have? 30 and 5. What will be the profit? 6 by 30. 9 by 5. So 630. 180, 95, 45. 180 plus 45, 225. Third, P3, 20 and 10. So profit will be equal to 6 by 20 plus 9 by 10. So 620, 120, 910, 90. What do we have? 190. Which one is the highest? 210. 210. Which one is the highest? The first, the first one. So that becomes the optimal production plan. That is the answer to your question. It is still limiting factor analysis. Don't write it off in your mind. I know the workload is evolving. And that is one of the things about management accounting. It's evolving, but the understanding is very important to me. Understanding is very important. So when we finish, we write down that the company should produce 24 units of the super and 10 units of the sta no, standard and executive to make a profit of two, three, four dollars. So these are what you have to understand about limited factor analysis. And so, God willing, next week, 
make sure you try your hands on those questions that I gave you. But really next week we will start with cost volume analysis. And I will see you in the next class. So if there are any questions, put them in the comment box. I'm going to answer all your questions in the comments. So you put them in the comment box and I can cover them in another video.